we're back with more NU World Cup, and we're actually in a tiebreak. So we had a 4-1 lead, then it became 4-4, and now we're in a best of three tiebreak. This we already won round one. This is already won. So we have a 1-0 lead. If we win, we go 2-0. Here we go. So we have a banded Decidueye team, and I believe we are adamant natured. So it's kind of interesting there, Decidueye versus Decidueye. What's going to happen with that? Scyther is all right here. Uh, Copper Rodja could be an issue for it, but if I can weaken Copper Rodja, then Swords Dance Scyther can be really good. A uh, Samurott's good too. Um, usually you expect Specs, but it's Assault Vest, which is good to switch into things. Umbreon is good. Santa Conda is good. Santa Conda might have trouble with Gligar. Gligar doesn't have Roost, but it's just an annoying Pokemon. We can probably try, you know, getting Stealth Rock up and then trying to attack with Samurott maybe. I kind of like the Samurott lead. It would only really be bad into Decidueye. Which I kind of don't want to do. I don't want to... Because Decidu they could lead Decidueye into Sandaconda, for example. I could lead Scyther because I have a guaranteed U-turn on everything. So I can... If they lead Copper Raja, that's my worst case scenario, then I U-turn into Sandaconda, for example. Okay, they lead Gudra. Gudra is tough because it can be choice specs, it can be a lot of things really. It can be choice specs, it can be like knockoff toxic, for example. Hmm. Do I really care about- I don't want to switch into a, a choice spec psychic. I feel like Samurott's my best option because I have the AV for any specs type of idea. It's Scarf. Okay, so we live that. So we took a lot of damage there. It's Scarf, which I didn't expect. But now that we know it, Scarf, we can handle it, handle it a lot better. But that is an issue. Samurott feels free. I can Ice Beam, probably. Or do I go... I don't want to go to Santa Con... I could go to Santa Conda. Get Stealth Rock on a Fire Blast and then go to Samurott. I, I like that. Let's get Stealth Rock up. I don't care about taking damage here. They go to Decidueye. Umbreon feels safe. I guess Tauros is good too. I'm gonna go Tauros. They have Defog, so they're not a banded Decidueye. That's good to know. Not banded. We have Raging Bull we can throw off into Gligar. I don't hate that. Get chip damage. 21. Okay. If they get... Ha we'll go Samurott to try and put the pressure on Gligar. They U-turn or they do that, which is good either way. Now, I feel like they don't go to Toxicroak because Ice Beam's pretty threatening. I feel like Umbreon's the more likely play. They do have Defog on Decidueye, so getting Stealth Rocket isn't going to happen versus a Decidueye team. So I'll need a better way to try and make it through. They can go Toxicroak or Umbreon here. Both are decent. Is, is there a move I can make that covers both? Ice Beam Freeze Fish is alright. 16. No leftovers, okay. I want to go to Sandaconda. Can they predict that? Kind of? I mean, they don't have like a major punish to Sandaconda, only Decidueye. Go to Wish. No real beneficiary besides Gudra, I guess. If they go and if, if they go to do Gudra, I get Stealth Rock up anyway. Okay, we do get Stealth Rock up. Now we are now we can start attacking. Because we do have Stealth Rock up. We'll get chip damage on Pokemon like Decidueye might be boots. This is I do have to be careful because this is a looking it's looking bad for me. Because I'm taking damage, I have poisoned Pokemon, and it's unclear how I break through the Umbreon stuff. Maybe the idea is Tauros, but Draco doesn't do a lot here. Umbreon is an idea because it'll switch into Decidueye. I think that's fine. Let's try and get pressure with foul play and toxic and 
38 only, okay? Foul play feels strong. Uh, Gligar has immunity, so it's not that threatening. Decidueye, maybe? I feel like Decidueye must be the way to attack. If I can get Poltergeist, if I can get Leaf Blades, that's my idea. Okay. Let's go to... I feel like Toxicroak? I feel like if I want to try and counter Toxicroak, Gligar, let's try Decidueye. Okay. We threaten a one-hit KO with Poltergeist. What if they have Gunk Shot? I mean, they definitely have Gunk Shot. The question is... What if it's, you know, banded gunk shot and I die? Well, the Toxic Croak is heavy duty boots. Toxic Croak is heavy duty boots, right? Yeah, didn't take recoil. So I have a play. If I U turn into the Umbreon switch in, that would be a lot of damage. I'm gonna Poltergeist. Okay. It was knockoff. We chipped down Toxic Croak. That's good for Umbreon now. We they lost a, a way to hit Umbreon. I would think they have Sucker Punch. They're probably gonna go to Umbreon because if they, I don't know. I feel like they go Umbreon. Do I? Decidueye is not extremely high value. There's no way to heal it either. Sandicond is kind of free. It's kind of predictable too. Okay, good thing I did that. Let's put the pressure on, because... Well, truthfully, they might just knock off my item. They might just knock off the helmet and be done with... Yeah, okay. We remove Toxic Croak. We have AV Samurott, which I'm going to go to now. And then I'll get, I have flip turns now. That's a, That specs into AV. Wow, okay. I mean, Scarf into AV, that's way too much damage for the what I expected. I mean, what, what are we doing with Samurott here? Okay, now... Let's try... I think Tauros can win if we can get damage on the right Pokemon, but... Umbreon's low on health, too. Maybe Umbreon can just straight up win, because we removed Toxicroak. I don't want it, I don't want Gligar to be able to Toxic my Umbreon. Which, I do have Terra Poison, but... Long-term, wish support for Gligar will be an issue, because they have Spikes, too. Wish... Do I go hard to Sidueye? Or do I go Gligar? I feel like... I wonder, does Scyther... Does Gligar's U-turn even KO Scyther? I feel like maybe it doesn't. Nah, it does. It's kind of tricky. Do I choose to go to either one of them? I'll just protect to scout. They have acrobatics. Okay. I don't think they toxic here. Yeah, they spike. 13. Sandiconda now. Okay, we have Shed Skin, which hopefully will activate. Okay. There we go. I think Arrest is pretty prudent here. Yeah. Okay. I want to go to... They're never going to acro into damage. I'm going to go Tauros on Umbreon. Which didn't work. We'll probably have to defog eventually. And we're not waking up either, which we need. Okay, we got that. Now we have a 
you turn on Umbreon, which we want. There we go. Okay. Now we can start putting a little bit more pressure. Even then, I'm not sure how. Tauros. Okay, there we go. That's good. We've gotten the Umbreon weakened. I'm going to go for the Raging Bull, is that right? Let's go for the Raging Bull. I feel like they should be scared out. I don't know if they are, though. Because Umbreon can do the job by itself. Oh, we don't even get the KO. Tauros, Tauros, Tauros. It's not... Not doing good enough here. Swords Dance is kind of unexpected. I oh, know, I actually think that's the right play. Let's U-turn. Sack Decidueye. Now we've weakened Umbreon. So we have gotten the weaken on Umbreon. So we, we've opened it up. Umbreon has a chance of winning here. I mean, our Umbreon. That Gligar is annoying, but we have a chance now. And I do have Defog. Do... I just... I do a Wing Beat. They go to Copper Raja. That's bad. I mean, it's not really that bad, it's just annoying. Oh, I suppose now we Defog. Okay. Is it Toro's time yet? Or... I think it's Toro's time. Raging Bolt for chip damage and we start putting things into Umbreon range. Let's see if this works out. Okay, 79. Stealth Rock, which I don't care about, so I'm happy with that. I don't care too much about Stealth Rock. Okay. Now what? They go to Gudra. I have the Terra Steel. Which I don't think I'll need, honestly. Hmm. If I tear a steel, does Draco knock me out? It does knock me out. So let's just go Umbreon. They Sludge Bomb poison me. Which means I can't get toxic Okay. I can't get toxic anymore. So does that, is that good? I think it's good. Foul play. Colber. Okay. Ah, uh, so I think they're going to U-turn, maybe? I can't get toxic, so this is good. I think now is the time to wish. Is that true? Because I don't want to get hit by a strong leaf blade. We can't get toxic poison, so this could be what we need. 50, great. We outstall Roost as well. Okay. This could be what we need. Because we outstall Roost. U turn not doing enough. They go to Gligar. How much does that Earthquake even do? I can't imagine it does a lot. We do have boots, so the spikes aren't really an issue as well. We have 90 seconds to think about it. I can't imagine that... Yeah, Earthquake... Gligar is not typically an offensive Pokemon. The Earthquake's not going to do a lot. It's going to do maybe 40, which we heal off. Meanwhile, our foul play doesn't do a lot either, but at least it's something. They haven't Terrid yet, right? Okay, 60 seconds. 
if we get ship damage, we start putting things in range of Tauros as well. Should I keep Umbreon healthy or foul play for damage? Let's keep Umbreon healthy. Okay, now let's go to Sandaconda. Okay, they get a spike up. That's a good play from them. I just need to wake up. Sandaconda is not getting its shed skin off. And that's creating a problem for the rest of the team. Come on, it, it needs one. It has the ability for it. Just needs to get that off and we'll be fine. Well, at least it happened eventually. Now the Taurus is gonna die to hazards. So we'll keep Tauros around as a sacrifice. Okay. Here we go. The boots on Umbreon is going to be clutch, and they don't have a knockoff Pokemon left. We'll see if Sandaconda Umbreon can finish it. Okay, Decidueye, Stone Edge, come on. 19. Okay. Well. They kind of have to roost. Go, Umbreon. They do roost. Okay. Let's wish. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Now we have a foul play, too. That Sludge Bomb Poison is helping me a lot. They're going for Special Defense Drop, I think. Alright, now we're we're finally getting in. Come on. Almost. Okay, Umbreon, keep holding on. We're at 10. It's really big that we can't get Toxic Poison. Oh, critical hit on the last turn and the drop, but that's not too bad. It's just annoying. Okay. Right. They go to Umbreon now. I, I toxic that, right? Foul play doesn't knock it out. Could we do toxic? Okay. Now we wish. We protect. Gudra's running low as well. We have to give up Tauros. Okay, good play from them. But now we can go to Sandaconda and we can rest off the damage. And that poison on Gudra is coming in. Okay, let's go. Sandaconda. Shed skin, finally. Okay. And... We, we live in a, a Scarf attack from Gudra, so that's good too. We only have five Stone Edge. It, this will come down to a PP stall, I think. Eventually, this comes down to a PP stall. Yeah, d this will come down to a PP stall. Unless we crit enough times, but... Okay. I wonder if they even sacrifice a Pokemon. We, we need one crit. Uh, this is unlikely. We're unlikely to break through, right? We're unlikely to break through. Yeah, this is PP stall time. 13, and final one. Here we go. Here we go. We get it. That's clutch to the maximum there. And we'd live a Choice Scarf Draco. I think we win now. We win now. We live a Draco. Oh, it's Terra Dragon? But it's Dragon Pulse? Okay. And we win the World Cup of NU with that game. The, the Gligar situation was obviously lucky to hit that many Stone Edges and get the high crit rate. But we win the World Cup of NU. 2-0 lead, and that's it. Thank you for watching.